Welcome back to Huawei Routing and Switching Elite Training. Today topic we are going to discuss on LAN Layer 2. Let's start our part 5. Alright, so in here I have client 1 connect to switch 1. Alright, so that is connecting through the switch 1 Ethernet 0010. Switch 1 connect to switch 2 through Ethernet 001. Switch 2 to switch 3 is 002. And switch 3 to the client through the 0010. So let me show you the client IP address. So the first client IP address is uh, quad 1. Okay, and the uh, second client IP address is 1.1.1.2. Okay, so right now, um, switch one let's go in and I'll show you here as configure the uh, VLAN so that is on the VLAN number two so I have configured it uh, VLAN number two uh, that is on the trunk port okay so I'm going to configure the port here on the Ethernet 0010 so should be quite simple 0010 port link type access port default VLAN 10. Oh, sorry, that is a VLAN 2. Alright, my mistake here. VLAN 2. That is port number 10. Okay, let me undo the uh, terminal monitor. So let me go back into display VLAN to show it to you. Alright, let me maximize a little bit. Here I have a VLAN 10 which is untagged and uh, Ethernet 001 here is attacked. So if I go back into the Ethernet 001, display this you can see that this is a trunk port and uh, we have to allow everything to pass through you also notice that I have configured a GVRP just for your information GVRP to turn it on you have to go to your system view GVRP then go into the um, interface which is the trunk then you just type GVRP that's all you need to okay that's all we have to configure so we have configured on sorry that is on the Ethernet one GVRP okay so it said that GVRP has been enabled right so I'm going to do it on the switch number two switch number two is a new switch so firstly GVRP I have to enable that first okay sorry undo terminal monitor then I will go into the interface E001 GVRP and interface E002 GVRP now just for information when I do a display VLAN you notice that the GVRP has been configured straight away you notice that it's a dynamic okay now having said though so you can see that this is the common one this is the uh, the one that is already assist in the switch if I go back into switch number one and I do a display VLAN you notice that this is a common this is the one that I create okay where if I go to switch 2 you notice that it's a dynamic all right so on the Ethernet 002 as you can see that 002 GVRP has been configured as well earlier on all right and this is also a trunk port right and uh, finally on the switch number 3 uh, as you can see that display VLAN I have configured a VLAN 2 and uh, in here GVRP has been enabled and I just go to the interface E002 GVRP also has been enabled okay so we have just created the uh, VLAN 2 on switch number 1 and switch number 3 alright so if I'm going to do a ping from here to 1.1.1.1 alright so we just wait for a while here Okay, so let me check here display VLAN there you go because the 10 is not inside the VLAN 2 so let me go into the 10 here port link type access and port default VLAN 2 okay even though VLAN has been created you have to assign the port right so let me do one more time there you go now having said so, you notice that the uh, switch number 2 uh, doesn't create the VLAN automatically. Alright, so let, let me show you another way. Now because that the switch here, the default is the uh, normal district, uh, the uh, registration. So if I'm going to create a VLAN 3, what will happen here is see what will happen. If in the switch 3, I create a VLAN 3, let's go to the switch 2 and see what will happen here. Display VLAN. 
you notice that the dynamic VLAN has been created here. Okay, that is on this part here. All right, dynamic. Okay, so assuming that if I'm going to undo VLAN three, you see over here, it said that the VLAN is dynamic VLAN and cannot be deleted through the command, right? So that is the beauty of uh, using the uh, GVRP. So if I go to the uh, switch number one here, display VLAN, you notice that the uh, dynamic VLAN has been created. Okay, so that is under the uh, GVRP. And I also want to show you here what will happen if let's say I remove the VLAN. All right, so the remove VLAN will actually cause the GVRP leave message. So if I'm going to undo, VLAN 3, okay, display VLAN, you can see that number 3 has gone, if I go to number 2, you can see that it's there, but if we, when I do a refresh, you can see that VLAN 3 is no longer there, and if I go to switch number 1, display VLAN, again, the VLAN 3 is gone, right. Now next, I'm going to show you here uh, the timer, so for you to configure the timer, uh, you have to go into the interface. Now, please remember that if, when you configure the timer, remember to configure consistent timer on all the switches. So let me go into the Ethernet 001. So instead of GVRP, because GVRP is using GARP, okay, Generic Attribute Registration Protocol, we have a timer here. So we have a whole timer. Okay, you can see that this timer is in centisecond. All right, so. The timer on the whole timer, join timer and leave timer, all these can be configured. Okay. Now you also can do a display GARP timer for us to check our timer. So this is a default timer on our interface. Right. Now last but not least, I'm going to show you what will happen if let's say I'm going to configure a different GVRP mode. Alright, let me jump to switch number two, uh, Ethernet 001. Okay, so if I go to the Ethernet 001, display this, you'll notice that this is just an ordinary GVRP. So if I do a GVRP registration, you'll notice that I have three modes here. The default mode is normal. So assuming that if I'm going to use a fixed mode, all right, fixed mode means that I will not going to uh, accept any registration, but any of the VLAN, static VLAN that I create, it will be propagated out. So I have created. Uh, the uh, registration here, I changed the mode to fixed mode. Okay, as you can see that now the registration is fixed mode. So assuming that now I jump back to switch number one and I'm going to create, let's say I'm going to create a VLAN 10. Display VLAN, I have a VLAN 10. Remember that GVRP has been enabled here. If I go to switch two, display VLAN, you notice that there's no VLAN 10, but there's only VLAN two because this was created early on. Right. Now, if I'm going to create a VLAN here, because this one is fixed, so when I create a VLAN, this VLAN will be propagated. Now, for example, I'm going to create a VLAN 20. Okay, display VLAN here. You can see that VLAN 20 is a common VLAN. So if I jump to switch number one, display VLAN, you'll notice that the VLAN 20 is created dynamically. So this is means by fix. I will not accept any registration or deregistration, but I do allow to propagate my own uh, static VLAN out. Okay, so now I'm going to undo. Let me go out from here. Undo VLAN 20. Okay, so go back to switch number one. VLAN 20 will be removed. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go back into the switch number two. This time, I will go back into the uh, 001. I'm going to change to GVRP registration, registration to be forbidden. Okay, so display this. You can see that it's forbidden. So every time that you type, it will override your previous setting. Now this time, I'm going to create a VLAN, let's say 22. You see that? I create a VLAN 22, display VLAN, VLAN 22 is there. You can see that the dynamic VLAN is also no longer there. And if I go to the switch number one, display VLAN, you notice that there's no VLAN 22. All right, because in here, uh, using a forbidden, I will not receive or I will not register or deregister any VLAN and I only allow the VLAN one to pass through. So here we have 
all the uh, configuration on the GVRB so it's quite uh, straightforward and uh, let me show you another one here display GVRP you notice that there is uh, some command here state okay interface I would like to see Ethernet 001 okay I'm going to say that uh, VLAN but I only have VLAN 1 that's the default so I think that it will be better for me to show you this command if I can just go back into normal GVRP registration normal okay display VLAN okay so I have the uh, uh, common VLAN here and uh, I'm going to wait for a while for the VLAN to propagate okay so let me double check here that's on switch number one this on switch number two interface E001 GVRP registration normal display VLAN okay so there you have it the dynamic comeback so if I'm going to do a display GVRP state interface E001 VLAN 2 now you have it so we have the applicant state and the registration state we also can do a display GVRP statistic Okay, that is on the GVRP has been configured as normal all right then you also can do a display GVRP there's another one called status all right and the GVRP is enabled and uh, last but not least you can do a GARP okay this will be a generic uh, attribute registration protocol all right so these are all the display command for GVRP it's pretty straightforward Alright, so it's time for us to look into some of the configuration. I'm going to show you uh, this uh, demonstration how to configure the intra VLAN proxy ARP and configure the link aggregation. Uh, just now I already showed you the GVRP. So let's look into the first uh, very simple topology. So this is on the company A. Alright, so we are going to configure intra VLAN proxy. So perform the following configuration according to requirement. Add PC1 and PC2 to VLAN 2. So we have 1 and 2 with this IP address. Uh, both of these uh, PC will be in VLAN 2. And assign the IP address of 1.1.1.10/24 to VLAN interface 2 on switch 1. So that will be pretty straightforward. Okay. Then we are going to isolate the layer 2 interface on PC1 and PC2. So we are going to do a uh, interface to isolate our isolate interface and achieve a layer 3 connectivity between PC1 and PC2 so which means that PC1 and PC2 will be isolated but yet I want them to con communicate over the layer 3 and not the layer 2 all right so how can we achieve this let's jump into our lab now so this uh, switch one just started so let me undo terminal monitor Alright, so let me go to change my switch name to switch1. Now, as you can see that on the PC1, I have the IP address of 1111, alright, with the uh, gateway of 1.1.1.10, alright, because the question requires to have the interface VLAN 2 with 11110. And here, I have a PC2. PC2 is 1112 with the same gateway of 11110, okay? So now, uh, let me go back to switch number one. I'm going to configure the VLAN 2 first. Okay, so display VLAN. So you can see that VLAN 2 have no uh, interface attached to it. So let me configure the uh, interface E001, okay, which is PC1, port link time access, port default VLAN 2. Okay. And uh, go, go to the uh, interface 002, okay, port link time access, port default VLAN 2. Now the question also asks to have a port isolate. So for the port isolate, uh, what we can do here is uh, we are going to create the uh, isolate port, okay. And for us to do that, uh, let me go back into the interface E001. I'm going to do a port isolate okay enable group okay so I'm going to say group one same go for number two here 
I say that port isolate enable group one. Okay, so if I'm going to do a ping among themselves, so this is one 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 one. I'm going to do a ping to one dot one dot one dot two. So you can see that it fell. All right. So now we are going to enable the intra VLAN proxy. And for us to do that, let me go back into the switch number one. I'm going to do a interface VLAN two. So I do an interface VLAN two. The interface VLAN two is one 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 ten. We did twenty four. All right. So you can see that the interface two now. All right, which is one 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 ten. You can see that it's up. And when I do a display VLAN, you can see that port number one and port number two is up. And uh, I'm going to allow them to use the layer three. And for me to do that, I just use an up. Sorry, go to the interface VLAN two. I'm going to use ARP proxy in a sub VLAN proxy enable. Okay, so it's in a sub VLAN because PC one and PC two belong to. Two. So now I already configure. Let's us do a display command. So first, I'm going to show you that this port are isolate. Okay. So you can see one and two is isolate. Now just now I also show you that one dot one dot one cannot ping to one 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 two. But once I have configured, you should be able to ping. Do you see that? So the uh, intra VLAN proxy now is working. So we have uh, the uh, configuration successfully. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel.